Hey everybody, well I got a ton more cuttings on eBay. I'm gonna propagate these things completely indoors. They're not gonna be outdoors. The reason is it's getting really cold out there. I'm at a point where I just really need to do this inside. I don't want the tops to die back. I don't wanna take any chance of losing these things because they're valuable figs. I've spent a lot of money on these cuttings. So I already got them stuck. Let's go ahead and show you what I've been doing. The purpose of this was I wanted to try a little experiment to see how this was going to work and how light was going to affect these cuttings because I have a feeling it's not just warmth. It's not just the warmth of a house or a warm environment or the, you know, the, the springtime warming up. I have a feeling it's not just the warmth that makes these things start growing, but it's also the light. And, you know, as you can see, it's been about two and a half weeks and we finally, just in the last couple days, started getting a couple of these little green buds to swell a little bit. You can see back in there, there's one, uh, just just a few of them starting to swell. And I think the warmth does have something to do with that. But I think that the light really wakes these guys up and gets them started. The one thing I didn't want to do this time was use parafilm. Because as we've seen with this area, I mean, you saw some of these guys I did wrap in parafilm and some of them I didn't. And it just makes absolutely no difference. I've got roots and leaves growing on these cuttings, whether they've got the parafilm or not. So, as I showed you, they've been on bottom heat in these cups for about two and a half weeks, but I've been blocking out the light. So they've really had hardly any light in this area at all for that two and a half weeks. So let's go ahead and we're gonna move them now over to this side and see what happens. This is a little bit different experiment. And as I explained to you, this is kind of more about light. So now I've got this intense light with these T8 bulbs under here and it's on for 14 hours a day. And we've had these guys in the dark for now, but now we're gonna wake them up and put a ton of light under there. As you can see, we've got some little green buds starting to come through here. I'm really, really curious to see what happens with these guys once we start uh, getting them under this light for 14 hours a day. I have a feeling things are gonna really wake up. Well, we're only on the fourth day now since I moved these guys under the light, and this light sure does seem to be having some sort of effect on them. Now, a few of these buds had started to kind of break, and those are the ones that we're seeing now, but they hadn't grown this much quite yet. And so I think this light is turning out to have some sort of an effect on these guys. Well, it's the same day, and I was just about to put the camera away, but I decided to look at a couple of these cups, and look what I saw. I'm kind of... uh impressed with how quickly this happened. So this is uh, Stella and a friend named Steve over on the other side of the Cascade sent this to me and it's already got a nice thick root starting to form there. You can see the new bud coming out. So it's been about oh what three weeks now total since I put these guys on the bottom heat originally. Now they're not on the bottom heat now but they're under the lights but already got a root going down there so I'm excited to see that and then I picked up this Preto and this came from Ben B and I was looking at this guy here let's see if I can find it again and there it is it might be kind of tough for you guys to see but little roots just starting to kind of pop through and there's another one right over here, just starting to pop through the side there so that you can see it, but pretty cool. I'm liking this little method so far. And once again, I love how I don't have to mess with humidity. These guys are opening up just at the rate that the roots are growing and you don't have to mess with acclimation later on down the road. All right, it's just a few days later. Uh, it's been three weeks and three days now since I originally put these guys on that bottom heat. We've got something going on here. Some of this new growth is coming out and it's amazing to me with this little light experiment how for three weeks or almost three weeks these guys just sat there without the buds really doing much of anything and then all of a sudden I put them under light and boom they're just starting to open up and these buds are starting to come out. It's kind of neat to see that how they respond to the lighting. I've got the lights like I said on 14 hours a day and I want to show you, I've been looking at these guys, I'm already getting tons of roots. These roots have been growing while they were on the bottom heat, but now they're going to be able to support the top growth here. And with the lighting, it's just coming out. I think I'm going to start, or at least kind of, I'm going towards propagating my fig cuttings permanently this way. I'm not going to do it outside unless we're in the, 
late spring and we're getting close to the summertime, but uh, I'm gonna put them on some bottom heat in a dark area for a few weeks and then bring them under light and watch them wake up. But uh, the Prado I got from Ben B, this guy is starting to open up here. We're getting some roots coming through there in the cups. And we've got that nice, beautiful leaf on top there. These guys are really coming along. All throughout here, I was looking, I've got roots on these guys. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. The De Tre Esplets, I think I pronounced that right. That's got some roots coming out, you can see. Of course, no top growth yet, but uh, all the buds are starting to swell here. So, three weeks and three days. And uh, 14 hour light cycle for the last, uh, what did I say, it's been like five days or a week or something like that, but uh, we're doing great. Well guys, it's been exactly five weeks, two days since I stuck all of those cuttings with the no light experiment. And after all of this time, I think I've changed my opinion. So things have got a little bit discombobulated in here, so it doesn't look the same, I know, as it did before. But the reason is because I've got so many figs growing out of control here, I had to change some things around. I'm going to try and point some things out to you. First of all, the whole light experiment we've been doing, I don't know that it matters. Five weeks into this, and we're kind of at the same stage with the fig cuttings that got no light for a period of time as we were with the last figs that had light the whole time they were rooting on the bottom heat. Here are the, the six figs in the back here of this tote. There's 12 total uh, pots. There's six in the back. Those six are bigger because they're from the original set of cuttings I did several months ago. These six that are up front were from the no light experiment. So they're five weeks along. But if you look here, these guys, except for the Smith figs, are all from the no light experiment as well. Look at the difference. Look at how much growth these guys have put on. Now it's not the size of the cup. These guys were putting on this growth before I potted them up into these bigger cups. These guys are just slowly doing something. I'm finally starting to get some roots here. I mean, you can see right here, Borgeso Grease uh, is finally got some nice roots coming through. And there's a few others that are starting to get a few roots. This guy's starting to get some growth coming out. So I guess the final result, the final thing I can say with all of this going on in here right now is I don't think the light matters. I really don't. You can try your own experiment, and I'm going to keep experimenting some more, but... I got basically the same amount of growth, you know, at the same rate from different figs through trying different experiments with and without light. I think what matters is the condition of the fig cutting and the variety of the fig. That's what matters most. You can see here I've got tons of growth. The, the roots are coming out the side of the big one. They were already starting to come out real good in the smaller cup till I pawed it up. And lots of nice top green growth. Then I've got this same one over here, same variety from the same person, not doing anything. There's no roots at all right there. So this guy, I got another one back there and I don't think there's any roots on it either, even though I think it's got some roots, it's just not out to the edge of the cup, but because um, when I tug on it, it's pretty solid in there. But, you know, same variety, but, you know, a different cutting obviously, and maybe it was just the condition of the wood. So I'm just going to have to say that... Uh, the light just doesn't seem to affect these guys as much as I thought it was going to. I think I'm going to revert back to use bottom heat for the first few weeks, maybe even three weeks, four weeks if you want to. No humidity, just have them setting out in an environment like this. And, you know, they're going to root at whatever pace they want to root. <laughs> and they're going to put on top growth, growth whenever they're ready to. And But I will say, beyond the shadow of a doubt, and I know I'm beating a dead horse here again, no humidity is the best thing you can possibly do for these guys because there's no acclimation, there's no fungus problems, but I will hold fast to that. Fig cuttings are hardwood cuttings and they just don't need humidity. So I hope you guys learned something here. I know I did and I'm just going to keep experimenting different ways to do this. These things root so darn fast it's fun to just keep trying new experiments with them. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please like it down below somewhere over here or here. And uh, subscribe if you want to follow along. We're headed into spring here. Should have a lot of fun for the spring. Lots of new things coming along. I've got some fun things to talk to you guys about later on when I get them prepared. And uh, till next time, we'll see you in the next video.